I'm gonna start off this episode pretty quickly because we have uh, an imposter. Green, gr it's green, it's sus. It, uh, <laughs> right there. Got him. Okay, quick, quick attack. Yes. Okay. Nice. Uh, okay. Well, um, sorry if you hear some noise in the background. There's some construction going on outside my house. Um, but today I'm going to build a moose enclosure. I've already outlined it here. I think it's big enough for the four moose that I captured last episode. I wouldn't say last episode's the best episode either, but I I'm happy with it. Also, my voice might sound a bit different because I just got up <laughs> like an hour ago. Okay, uh, another quick thing that I really want to show you is something I've been working on. Oh, that bear needs to shush. Mother Russia. Um, I've been making delighted meal. I haven't eaten any of this yet, but um, I want to eat it first on camera. It took a long time to get all this together, but I'm gonna have it now. Oh, it filled, I don't know how much it fills up, but it just filled up everything. Oh, it, it filled up everything there. <laughs> so, I would say that's a success. I won't have to eat much and I'll still drink this, which is my cranberry juice. It makes me fast, like this. But, um, I think I'm going to start off this episode by landscaping this area a bit, make it look better so I can put the lo mooses in, and then I'm going to put all the trees and make it so people can look in the enclosure and stuff. So I'm going to start landscaping it now. Alright, this is going to be a quick time lapse of me doing the landscape for the moose enclosure. Uh, then I'll do another time lapse very shortly where I um, decorate it, but I really quickly want to say I've got a Discord co server coming soon, maybe. I want to have it out around when I hit a thousand subscribers. It's not quite finished yet. My brother's helped me make it. He's done most of the work, but yeah, that's something to look forward to, um, and it's a way for me to interact with you guys more. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Bye-bye. Yes, it's confirmed. I saw someone comment in my last video, Discord server when? And so, yeah, it'll probably come out soon, probably around when I hit a thousand subscribers, probably the video after I hit a thousand subscribers, yeah. Um, I have all the materials I think I'm going to need to make this enclosure in this chest here. I, this is all the iron I have. I try not to use it all on these wide fence, but they just use up so much iron. I need to go mining to get some more. But, um, I cleared out the landscape, as you saw in that quick time lapse. Uh, there's going to be a viewing area up here where there's going to be railings like that area over there, but there's going to be a wide fence down here with a path going down here. And I might connect the path up to there with some stairs or something. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I actually forgot one thing, also those chickens are very loud. Um, I need coarse dirt. There we go. That's one thing I will be using a lot in this series, coarse dirt. Okay, I think I'm gonna start working on this. I think you really like the design that I've got. Okay, everything here turned out pretty good. I am really happy with the pine trees that I made. They're, I used oak wood and birch leaves to make them, and that's that's all I really use. I also had s some walls off like a, a building mod. I forgot what the name of the building mod is, but you can probably find it in the description of this video. Um, yeah, the, the trees came out really nice. I had a pond and also a little area where they can sleep. I'll 
I'll actually put in some heat lanterns in there after this time lapse because that's what I forgot to do. Um, but yeah, trees trees came out amazing. So uh, they're easy to look at and then copy as well. So if you want to do that, please do feel free to. Um, I think I should say this now. It's two weeks prior to me going back to school. Uh, school starts again, starts up again in Australia. So I'll be doing that for a while. And that means I won't be uploading as consistently, which, which is, which sucks. But um, I am also doing animal studies and. It helps me get into doing something with animals when I'm older, so it's also good. YouTube is just a side hobby, and I'm glad people are actually starting to really enjoy my videos. It's it's really nice, and at the time of recording, I'm six subscribers away from a thousand. Uh, last video, I was ten, so I've got four subscribers. I think three people unsubscribed from since that video as well. <laughs> but that's all good. Um, yeah, that's don't really know what else to say. Ah, it's lagging a bit here. Is, or maybe that doesn't show in the video. Sometimes it doesn't show lag that I see in the video. So hopefully it didn't lag in the video there. Um, here's the shed. I, I, I put some dirt in. I thought it was like a nice texture if you put signs over it and ladders. And yeah, it, it really is. So if you want to add more texture to your house, use dirt. It makes it more rustic. Oh, and the time muscle is finished. Okay, I think it, I think it looks real. Oh, I need to eat. Mm, yum. Okay. <laughs> I am happy with how it comes out. Actually, I want to see how it looks with shaders. That looks much better. Shaders makes everything look better, apparently, apart from that grass. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is a temporary door right now, but. This is it here. I want to actually add this real quick. Very nice. Now they have a, a ball to kick around. And I want to add... Oh, I brought this for a reason. There we go. And put that on there. Very nice. Now they've got a heat lamp. So they're cool in here. And look what I did with this room. I used dirt on the walls. And I sort of covered it. So it still looks like there's wood there. But there's a bit of detail under it. So as you can see. I think I think that's a good detail, and just a normal andesite roof, and everything else looks really nice. I'm gonna put this here because they need food. I might put another food barrel right here. There we go. I need to find out what food they eat though. Um, but before I do that, I should probably make some kibble. But I actually just want to run around and look at this with shaders. Yeah, it, look, it looks so good. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, I need to go make some kibble. I really quickly want to say, after I did that, like straight after I did that voiceover before the time lapse, I got an email from TAFE, which is the people who helped me get my animal studies done. And I'm enrolled. I'm going to start very soon. And I'm... Oh, it's very exciting. Um, okay, this is all I need, isn't it? Underweight kibble. Oh yeah, I don't think I need 34. I'll just grab a few. Maybe 20 will do. I think I've got some more in here. Yeah, I do. Okay, 32. <laughs> That's a lot, but we have four mooses, so... Um, yeah, okay. Moose, 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 moose. Okay. Uh, here we go. Here's all the mooses. Moose, is that the correct way to say, like, a, a lot of mooses? Say moose? Mooses? Sorry, I'm getting all my words wrong. <laughs> I'm just going to stop talking. Okay. He is going to attack me once I get him out. Or she. I don't really know who's in this one. Okay. Um. I. Oh, wait. I need my book as well. Okay, while I was searching for the book, I also saw my gun and I thought, yeah, I should probably grab that just to be safe. Because you never know of these uh, untamed animals, but he will, she, she or he will be tamed. Right now, okay. 
She's asleep from uh, when I knocked him out, her out before. Okay. Come on, come on. Yes, we have our first moose. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Here's the next one. Okay, it's the other female. Okay, that means the next two are males. There we go. I'm definitely made too much kibble. <laughs> um, put that away. I grab that. Okay. Here's the purple male. Oh, why did I put that away? Okay, they're all sleeping because they're all knocked out, which is good because that means none of them are attacking me right now. And the final one, which is, uh, you're like a creamy, like a cookie colored moose. Maybe its name should be Cookie. I don't know. Name suggestions, everyone. Maybe like uh, you could type in them as name suggestions. Maybe if you want to name this one something, write Cookie so I know which one. This one can be like snow colored. This one can be plum colored. It sort of looks like the purple of a plum. And you can just be brown colored. Yeah. <laughs> If, if you've got name suggestions, use those um, words to describe which ones uh, you think I should name which. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't think I have much else for this video. I'll just see. Yeah, I don't actually think I have much else to do in this video. This was my plan for like the whole video to just build the moose enclosure and I did it. You can have a pumpkin as well. Oh, these mooses are spoiled. <laughs> they love their corn. Um, here's some more corn. Don't have a pumpkin. I only had one pumpkin. There we go. Yum. You like that? You do? Okay, so I think I'm going to end the video, but I'm also not going to end the video because I want to talk about something. So, if you're not interested in hearing about what happened in my real life, then the video's ended. Bye bye. Take care. But now, um, yeah, the video's ended. I'm just gonna talk. <laughs> um, so the other day, my bird Milo. He is my Indian ringneck. Um, he's also the video in the video that has the most views on of on my channel. The dancing parrot meme. I don't remember what it's called I haven't looked at it in a while but I think it's almost at a hundred thousand views which is just insane um he got attacked by a snake the other night um I'm gonna say um a lot it's just my ADHD I'm probably not gonna cut most of this <laughs> uh yeah uh he started screaming at night time and I ran downstairs and he was wrapped around with he was just a snake was wrapped right around him a snake had uh, pierced him, w wounded him, and I grabbed that snake. I wasn't caring if I was bitten, but I guess like th this is what you get for living in Australia, <laughs> or like not not in Australia. Most people don't live in an area where I live. I live in quite a rural area where there are a lot of wild animals. Um, but <laughs> yeah, he was wrapped around. He survived though. I pulled the snake off of him I unwrapped it he didn't the snake was a python so it wasn't venomous um but what pythons do is they wrap around I don't know why I'm looking up at the ceiling I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> oh these chooks need to be quiet uh the snake was wrapped around him I managed to get it off and save my little green bird big green bird he's a big boy um, and funny thing, my other... ...bird trumpet, she's a black-capped lorikeet. She, she was saying Milo the whole time. Um, the whole time <laughs> the snake thing was happening. So, yeah, at least she knows who Milo is and that she's concerned for him. Did that corn just grow? It did. More corn for the moose. Very nice. And some more wheat. This is, these are all my crops, by the way. Oh, I'm lagging now. Okay. These are my raspberries. 
or cranberry, sorry. Uh, soybeans, so I can make milk and stuff. These are so I can make string. And these are just for the deluxe burgers. These here, you don't need much, it's just tomato and lettuce. <laughs> and over behind the sugar cane is my potato farm. Ah, oh, it's the first time I've seen them all grown. <laughs> Love it. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on that. Oh my god, that's a good amount of cactuses. Good job, cactus farm. I knew it would pay off if I gave it time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So, I'm actually going to end the video now. So, if you did enjoy watching, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if, I have it, if you haven't. I doubt... I, I doubt any of the people who haven't subscribed are still here, so hi, if you are, <laughs> you're welcome to subscribe, I'm worth a thousand subscribers and I would really appreciate it. But yeah, as I said, I'm going to end the video now, that is the wrong button, here it is, yeah, <laughs> I keep saying yeah, it's something I do and I cut it out all the time, so, I don't know, um, I'm going to go. Bye-bye. Take care.